All right, um, this video is to show you how to mark and stitch the shadows on the Moon Shadows quilt. It's kind of the star feature of this quilt, but they're still very easy to do. Um, first, you wanna just kind of choose your angle. So they, you don't want them too sharp of an angle this way, uh, but you also don't want them vertical because that would just not look very good. So, uh, so I'm picking kind of an in-between angle. If it's too sharp, then sometimes the shadow from one tree will run into another tree and um, you can still do that. It's just a little trickier. So I'm just going to pick kind of an in-between angle here and start in the one of the corners of the tree and just make a line. So now I've chosen my angle and I just need to keep the rest consistent. So I'll go to the next corner of that tree and move my ruler over and just keep it parallel to my first line. So I'm going to skip this pair of trees for now and go to the next single tree and do the same thing. Find the first corner of the tree and make sure my ruler is still parallel to my other shadow lines. And go to the next corner and just make sure it's parallel to this line. The actual distance is just determined by the, the corners of the base of the tree. The pair of trees, uh, I'm going to do just a, a slightly um, different angle so that because the, the trees are facing a little, little bit different angle and also I want them both to show up. So I moved one over a bit this way and I'll move the other one a bit this way just slightly. And for the second half of that tree, you sort of have to imagine where that is and make it parallel to the line you just drew for that tree, but then don't even draw the whole thing. Just go down to where you're not overlapping. It doesn't really matter. It's all gonna get stitched anyway. So now we'll go stitch them.